Let me be the first to say, hello, Dreamforce 2019. Yes. Now, I'm about to give you all something that you've been waiting for, something that you are really looking forward to. Are you ready? The forward-looking statements. <laughs> now listen, you're going to hear a lot of innovation today. You're going to hear a lot of innovation throughout the week. But please, make all of your purchasing decisions based off of what is currently available, which is pretty awesome. Now, this would not be a dream force without receiving a blessing, a blessing that creates a space of inspiration, of gratitude, of love. All the way from the Big Island, please give a warm welcome to Danny and Anna Akaka. <laughs> Aloha kako. Good morning, everyone. As we come together with this amazing event, Dreamforce, this year of 2019, we look forward to this week and to the blessing of this occasion and the safety of all. As in the opening chants that we offered, Ehumai, to please grant us that wisdom, that knowledge from above, to inspire us, to strengthen us, that we may be pono, that we may be good and help others and inspire and enlighten others. 
As we make our journey through life, our huaka'i, we are always grateful for all those who have journeyed with us along the way. <clears throat> and in this journey, some of our loved ones continue on a on this path of enlightenment as they leave this time and this world and continue on this journey. And so we would like to honor those loved ones of the past. Bernard Tyson, who has been a important and integral part of this ohana, of this family of Salesforce. And in his memory, as well as those others that have passed, we dedicate this dream force. The lays that we have here, the Miley lays, are open-ended, which represent the pico, the umbilical cord, of which one in the lay represents Bernard and all of our loved ones who have gone on, on this journey. The other end represents all of the loved ones that remain, all of the ohana that still remain here. The canoe serves as a symbol and a metaphor for this voyage of which one embarks upon. And in a canoe journey, you have sometimes good weather, sometimes you have not so good weather. But with your faith and trust in each other, and with your faith in Akua and God, and if you follow that star, you will reach your destination safely. But each and every one of you here carry your own paddle. And to make this journey successful, you have to paddle together in sync. And so we would like to share a song with you, a song which talks about a voyage. In years past, the great ships, such as the Lurleen, would come into port to Aloha Tower. And this song was written for the daughter of the Max and family Lurleen. And we'd like to share this beautiful song. A song which speaks about love and aloha. When the Lurleen sails away Smile your sweet and wins away and take with you our love and aloha with this token my lily and a kiss for you this day we send with you our love and aloha now that we must say adieu God bless you and guide you may someday your journey end here in our aloha land and when the whistle starts to blow just one more kiss before you go and take with you 
our love and aloha and take with you our love and aloha and so to all of you, have a wonderful and a blessed Dreamforce event. <laughs> Mahalo and aloha. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Dreamforce 2019. It is so great to be here with everybody, our trailblazers. Together, we do this once a year, and we have the most amazing people in the world who join us for this event here in this room and online. We want to say thank you for joining us. It's going to be an incredible week. We hope to inspire you. We hope to motivate you. We hope to inform you. And we are going to have some fun. This is going to be a great week, and it will be no surprise when I tell you that this, together, will be the best dream force ever. <laughs> yes. We have an incredible action pack week for you. We have Tim Cook. We're going to focus on sustainable development goals. We have Barack Obama. Pretty good. And the monastics are here, right over here. Round of applause for the monastics from Plum Village for wellness at the end of the week. And this just scratches the surface. Now, we have 13 million online viewers, 171,000 registered guests, 2,700 sessions. We expect you to go to every one of those sessions. <laughs> Nobody sleeps at Dreamforce, okay? Now, if you're looking for a guiding light this week, check out the Salesforce Events app. That will get you through the week. It'll show you all the really cool things that we'll be doing. And I promise you, this will be a great week for everybody. Now, with Dreamforce, we always have the opportunity to bring some global leaders together for fireside chats, for panels. We have people from the public sector. We have politicians. We have artists. We have journalists. We have people from the sports world. We have Eddie Vedder on Wednesday for you Eddie Vedder friends. But this will be a series of great events. Please enjoy. Everybody will have a great time. Now, speaking of a great time, this is all about celebration. This is about celebrating your success, our success together over the last 20 years. And we're going to kick it off with Beck. Pretty good. And then, of course, we're going to follow it up with the amazing Fleetwood Mac, the incomparable Stevie Nicks. And if you look at the gentleman right next to Stevie Nicks, you will see a gentleman named Neil Finn. How many people love Crowded House? Ah, uh, yes. We have Australians here. Neil Finn is a Kiwi, but we have Australians in the audience. I love Neil Finn. 
And this year, we'll be raising $11 million already for the UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital, a great cause. Over 81 million raised since 2010 with some amazing sponsors. Now, this will be Wednesday night at the ballpark formerly known as AT&T. <laughs> I'm trying to conjure up the words, the new name, but I just can't get there. So we'll just say the San Francisco Giants ballpark, OK? Just go with me on this. Anyway, it's going to be an amazing event, and we hope everybody joins us. Now, on a more serious note, this will be the most sustainable dream force ever, something that's very, very important to us at Salesforce and to this community, our family, our ohana, really, really important. You'll see recycling volunteers everywhere, OK? You'll see them all over the campus. We're providing you with green transportation, we have sustainable packaging, and just one data point. We will be conserving 100,000 single-use plastic bottles, 9 million gallons of water. Okay, we're going to be conserving that just this week. Now think about this. If the organizations that we were part of did this for just one week, what kind of an impact would that have on the world, right? So we're very, very serious about this. We know you're serious uh, about this, and please give this some thought. Now. The most important thing that I could say to you is to say thank you. Thank you for all you do, our community, our ohana, our family, our customers, our partners, our employees. Thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for motivating us over 20 years, what we have created together as a company. So thank you so much. Please give yourselves a round of applause, OK? A Dreamforce is an opportunity to bring amazing trailblazers together, people from all walks of life, people who give to the community, people who make a difference. And I just want to take a moment to recognize a few of them because they're here in the audience. We have our amazing Salesforce MVPs. Are you with us? Stand up. Stand up and be recognized, MVPs. Yes. All right. There's a lot of golden hoodies out there. And our awesome admins. How about our awesome admins? A round of applause for the awesome admins. And other organizations like Pep Up Tech and Year Up, who are doing incredible things in the community. And one that is near and dear to my heart, those who give to their country, who serve their country every single day, are veterans. If you're a veteran, could you please stand up and be recognized? I know we have some veterans out here. Thank you, veterans. You know, a lot of companies think about revenue, and revenue is important, and numbers are important. But Salesforce is a different type of company. We are a company who is doing things the right way, by doing well and doing good together. And this is something that we have created over the last 20 years. Together, we are recognized as a leader in innovation. Together, we are recognized as a leader in philanthropy. And together, we are recognized as a leader in culture. We are a very different company. We are a very different community together. And we have created so much that we are grateful for. And here's one of the things that I'm very grateful for. We have built this amazing company collectively together. We have built the number one CRM. And I love this slide. There's a lot of great slides. I'm just going to tell you this week, there's a lot of great slides. I like this slide. <laughs> now, what I like about this slide is you see that Salesforce blue line that's just going up, up, up to the right? That's a pretty good line. Isn't that a good line? That's something that you did with us. We did this together. I'm not going to comment on the other lines. I'm just going to focus on that really good line up there. But one of the powerful things that comes out of building this great company, this great community that we have done together, is something that we refer to as the Salesforce economy. This is powerful, OK? This is powerful because it means jobs. It means opportunity. And it's happening all over the world. It's happening in the Americas. It's happening in Western Europe. It's happening in Asia Pac. It's happening in Latin America. IDC has projected that with this Salesforce economy, which we have created together, 
there will be 4.2 million new Salesforce economy jobs by 2025. That's incredible. And there will be a global impact. Think about this. There will be a global impact of $1.2 trillion worth of new business revenue by 2025. <laughs> no, Mark, that's not our quota. <laughs> no analysts in the room, obviously. That's an amazing economic impact, okay? Because it means jobs, it means opportunity, it means access, it means equality. And that's what this Salesforce economy is all about, that you, we, collectively have created together. And that's something that we should all feel really, really good about. Now, a lot of organizations get the opportunity to participate in this Salesforce economy. We want everybody to participate in this Salesforce economy. And we're gonna tell a story about an organization called Meribus. Now this is an organization created by veterans, for veterans, to skill them, to get them into the workforce, to make them successful, to bring them back after they have served our country. And it is an amazing story. You're gonna love Meribus. Let's just roll that film. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There was a lot of rough times for Sheldon when he got back home, not being able to find a job coming out of the military. Some people are very prepared, some people are somewhat prepared, and, and some people are lost. I was struggling, man. I used to have to give blood plasma just to, to get money. My only boy, that was hard. And everything was tech, 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 and the whole cloud thing was coming. I was like, I have to find something, and that's what led me to Maris. When he met Hector, it changed his life. You know, he didn't know me, but I shared some stories about my military experience, my career, and his Salesforce. I thought he was a salesman. I thought he, thought he was, you know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't believe it. But I also was telling myself, like, if this is true, this is it. Hector wanted to establish an organization focused on Texas veterans that didn't just offer the training, but offered all of the skill sets that come with looking for your next career. Welcome to the Marivis family. We're going to set you up for success. Architects, business analysts, project managers, we need an influx of talent. Take these people that have, you know, incredible perspective, life experience, drive and ambition, and bring them into the Salesforce ecosystem. It's a win for Salesforce, it's a win for Salesforce's customers, and it's a great career for veterans and military spouses. It was compelling enough for him to take that first step. Miravis and Trailhead gave me the tools and the resources to get my career started. I just took off with it. Now, employment comes searching for me. I cried. Because I was like, man, he's making his place in the world. He was just so excited that he has to tell the entire world why he's so happy. You know how many people I've talked to that just don't know what's going to happen when they're going to get their next paycheck, what's going to happen with their job, or if they could lose their job today, you know? And I told him, like, man, Salesforce can take away all that. If you see yourself climbing to the top, reach back and grab your brother or your sister. Pull them up with you. That's a badge, and you show him what you've been doing on Trailhead, and y'all are going to do fine. Paying it forward is a really core part of Maravis. This is a community of veterans that are now rising and then sending the elevator back down. There's a ripple effect to that that just hits all of society. The feeling of being able to get back and to help somebody at the end of the day, there's nothing else like it. People in the military, they just take care of one another. That's how Maravis works. We're family, we help each other out. That is, wow, that's an incredible story. So here to join us on stage, one of the uh, stars of the film, a great gentleman, Sheldon Simmons. Come on up, Sheldon.
Well, good to see you. Great to see you. Good hoodie. I love it. Nice. That's a huh? great hoodie. Yeah, really nice. That looks good on you. <laughs> that looks really good on you. I do. Yeah, thank you. Welcome to Dreamforce. Yeah, I, hey, I'm good to be here, you know? This is like my second one. Your second one? Yeah. It feels like your first one, right? It, oh, it's, it's, it's a lot different now. <laughs> this this one's right. a lot different. Let me ask, ask you a couple quick questions. Really easy. So, <clears throat> great story. Yes. Every time we show that film, we all get choked up. Yeah. So, tell us the impact of Meribus on your life. Oh, it's changed everything for me. Maris introduced me to Salesforce and Trailhead, you know, and I remember sitting in the cohort and I got that first Trailhead badge and I, oh, I could do this, you know, so I realized that Salesforce was now going to be my career. So I went all in, you know, I spent days and nights just trying to accumulate as much knowledge of Salesforce as I could and it paid off. You know, now I got five certifications. Wow. I've been working for an amazing company, a pole source as a consultant for the last two and a half years. <laughs> awesome. It's awesome. Yep. Uh, I just purchased. I just purchased my first home. You know. Hey. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's, it's it's had a huge impact, and not only just for me, just for my family, because like now the conversations around the dinner table are different because we're talking about tech and AI and business, and sometimes even Einstein will talk about that too. You know. So it's just been really a really a good thing that I can share my knowledge of technology with my family. So you're eating cornflakes and you're talking about Einstein. Yeah, yeah we're kind of weird like that. That's, that's what we do. No, it's yeah. not weird. It's yeah. all good. <laughs> okay, I think people are excited. They hear this story. They're going to want to get involved in the community. They're going to want to get involved with Meribus. So how does everybody help to grow this community? Because it's so important. Oh, there's a couple of things. Definitely hire veterans. Um, when you bring that up, that reminds me of a story when I had my first review at my job. My supervisor was like, hey, man, no matter what, you're, you know how the project's going, you're never rattled. You're always calm and positive. I told him, man, I've been to war. I was like, a process builder, a workflow rule is not going to rattle me. You know, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> and. Well, we hope it doesn't rattle anybody, but we got it. <laughs> and so that's what veterans bring to the table. We have that can-do attitude, and we've worked in some of the most strenuous situations. So just having a, that asset in your business is huge. Well, listen, we love the story. We love everything that you've done. Congratulations on your new home, uh -huh. and thanks for joining us here this morning. All right, thank you so much. Thanks, Elton. Uh -huh. All right, Sheldon. Yeah. You know, you listen to that story and you think about values and the importance of values, the importance to this community about values. And I think about how values create values. You know, we enjoy amazing relationships with this family, this community, this Ohana, these strategic relationships with all of you because our values are shared, our values are aligned. And Salesforce has four core values that have stood the test of time, starting with trust, our number one value, because trust is everything. If you don't have trust, you have nothing, whether it's your personal life, whether it's your professional life. And for Salesforce, it's providing you with trusted technology and trusted service and making sure that we have trusted strategic relationships that are enduring, that are sustainable. And then there is customer success, because everything is about customer success. And we have 50,000 employees at Salesforce that wake up every single day, and they focus on your success. They ask one question, what can I do for a customer today? And then innovation. You have inspired us. You have motivated us. The great ideas that we have at Salesforce, they come from you, this community, our customers. I mean, it's incredible what you have done. And we provide you three releases of years, a year with that innovation around technology that we have created together. And then the rock bed of our values, equality, because we believe that everybody deserves opportunity, that men and women should be paid for the same job the same way, and that everybody should participate. Everybody should have access, equality for all, our four core values, trust, customer success, Innovation, equality, the rock bed of who we are as a company and as a community. And we're a giving organization. We're a giving community over 20 years of giving back. 1% of the time, 1% of the equity, 1% of the product going to organizations that are doing good things in this world. 4.5 million volunteer hours, $310 million worth of grants, over 45,000 nonprofit organizations running their organizations on our technology. And over 9,000 9, companies have joined 
the Pledge 1% program. And if you're a nonprofit organization in the audience, would you please stand up? Please stand up and be recognized, please. Yeah, thank you for what you do. Thank you. Now at Salesforce, we believe that business is the greatest platform for change. And that's why we have signed up with the UN to focus on supporting 17 sustain, sustainable development goals. These are very important to our future, whether it's eliminating poverty from the world or peace, justice, and strong institutions and strengthening those and providing those. We believe in these sustainable goals, as all of you should. And we are laser focused on six because we believe that building a better world together is so important for everybody, whether it's quality education. We have donated over $90 million to public institutions, public education. Every executive at Salesforce adopts a school. This is very, very important. So whether it's quality education or focusing on climate action, saving our planet. Now you may have seen that Salesforce has recently donated $17 million for not-for-profits who are focused on the environment, and making it a safe place for the future. Because it's not about us. It's about our children. It's about future generations and the environment, the world, the planet that they are coming into. And that's why this is really, really important. We should all be passionate about these goals. All of us. And we can be. Now, speaking of passionate, we have somebody who's going to join us who's an amazing person. And she travels all over the world. And she is incredibly passionate about these goals. Please welcome to the stage Pumzili Lamba Nuka, the Executive Director of UN Women. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us. We know you're very, very busy, and we appreciate you being here. And we know that you are passionate about these topics. So help us understand why these sustainable goals are so important. These 17 goals are important because together they provide the world's greatest framework to address the biggest issues of the 21st century. They address the needs of people like education, poverty, and health. They address protection of the planet that everybody cares about here because there's no planet B, right? They also address the issue of prosperity, creating prosperity, more jobs, more security and capacity for people to spend, more women with paychecks. Paychecks are good for women, people. Paychecks are good. <laughs> and paying uh, attention to the fact that the women are the biggest emerging market after China and India. Mm. If we don't empower women economically, we actually take away money from the table, from the planet, from the continent, and of course, we are not fighting poverty if women are not at work. So let's focus on gender equality for a second, because when you look at the 17 sustainable goals, Gender equality actually goes through all of that. So please comment. Gender equality cuts across all of the goals. Even though there's one goal, goal five, which everybody has to know, uh, which is about gender equality. But without the empowerment of women, we will not be able to advance in education. We will not be able to have more people that work. We will not be able to advance with peace we would also not be able to protect the climate effectively because in many countries, just by women picking up trees to make fire, that already takes us back on the climate. So there are about 3.5 billion women that live in countries where there are laws that don't protect their rights. And if women don't protect their rights, it means that women are not able to be effective economic citizens. And what that means is that between 2020 and 2025, where we have a possibility of adding 12 trillion US dollars to global GDP, we lose that. Mm. Our work as UN women and yours, you and me, we are a team, 
is to make that work in a different way. It is to make sure that these 3.5, 3.2 billion women mm. that live in countries where there is no protection can actually have a change. We have a plan for that. We can implement it together. And next year, we launch it as UN Women under Generation Equality with all the companies that want to work with us that are already part of SDGs, with nonprofits, with governments, with ordinary citizens, with people in this room, I hope. Because if you become a member of the Women's Economic Empowerment Principles like you, and congratulations for joining, then you will be helping us to turn the situation around. The situation can be turned around. Pumzeli, this is so inspirational. Thank you for joining us, sharing your message. This is so important. How about a round of applause? Thank you, Pumzeli, for joining us today. Thank you so much. It was wonderful. Thank you. <clears throat> wow, that was inspirational. And if that wasn't a call to action, I don't know what is. You know, clearly, we have an opportunity. We have an obligation, all of us, to find our purpose, whatever it is, whatever your specific purpose is. And at the end of the day, this is all about what I said before. It's about doing well and doing good together. So listen, have a great week. This is going to be the greatest dream force ever because of you. We will celebrate together, and we are going to have so much fun this week. Hopefully everybody enjoys it. And Leah, back to you. Thanks, everybody. Right. Have a good week. Thank you, Steve. You know, what a privilege to be standing here on the world's largest enterprise tech conference stage. As a woman, as an African American, as a mom. And I know that I share the same desires as many of you, and that's to make this industry the most inclusive most welcoming industry, full of people from different racial backgrounds, from different sexual orientations, from different social economic classes, from different abilities, different genders, diversity. And that's why I am so honored to work with Trailhead. Trailhead, our free online learning platform, because we are breaking down barriers, barriers of entry from cost, to approachability, to accessibility, to language, to empowering everybody to have the skills for the jobs of the future of today. Tech skills, soft skills, leadership skills, business skills. And to earn resume-worthy credentials. We have over 700 badges on Trailhead and over 42 credentials, and now, college credits. And the real magic is, once you earn all of these, you can connect to opportunities from mentorship to employment. This is powerful. And I'm so thrilled to share with you today that we are going to strategically join with AWS to offer free AWS skills on Trailhead today. Because here's the thing, as a tech industry, we are constantly innovating. We're creating new products, new lifestyles, just always innovating. And this is developing new professions. And if the tech industry has the freedom to innovate, they also have the responsibility to create, create pathways to those professions. Pathways that are inclusive of everybody. Pathways that are equitable and accessible. Because it's gonna take all of us to close the skills gap. It's gonna take all of us working together to change the ratios in tech. And there's more. You can now learn beyond your desktop, beyond your laptop. You can learn on any Apple device with Trailhead Go. With our strategic Apple partnership, you can download it today. So you're standing in line waiting for your cup of joe, learn some Java. 
You're at your kid's softball practice, learn some soft skills. Turn your commute time into classroom time and learn new leadership skills. And if you want to learn more about how we're working with Apple, please come to our fireside chat today with Mark and Tim Cook. It's going to be amazing. Now listen, we are on, yes, give it up. We are on a learning journey together, but we are also going to build together. We are going to create together. But more importantly, we're going to bring others along with us together because we are going to make an impact together. Are you with me? Yes, are you with me? Welcome to Dreamforce. Ideas. They're born when two separate things come together to form something new, incredible, fun, even magical. And the results? Well, the results can change the world. Like this crazy idea 20 years ago. What if we brought together software and the internet, business and philanthropy, companies and customers? These ideas are why we're here today, as one powerful community. And yet our future is brighter than our past. Our dreams are bigger. Our impact, stronger. Our potential, limitless. Just imagine what we can bring together, together. Let's bring dreamers and doers together. Learners and leaders, coders and closers, trailhead and trailblazers, Astro, Cody, Cloudy, and Einstein. You and your future. Let's bring companies and customers together. How about the right message to the right person at the right time? Let's bring customer and 360 together. Salesforce and Tableau. AI and OMG. CRM and... What about retailers and shoppers, hospitals and patients, insurance and reassurance, small business and big dreams? Let's bring trust, customer success, innovation and equality together. Equal work and equal pay, shareholders and stakeholders, sea level and sea level. Doing well and doing good. Together, we can make the world a better place because business is the greatest platform for change. We just need to let our ideas come together. Welcome to Dreamforce. Please welcome to the stage, Chairman and Co-CEO, Mark Benioff. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Good morning. Aloha. No, no. Aloha! Aloha! You know, we have been on the road for the last month, and we have been talking to hundreds of customers all over the world, and we have been talking about this keynote, and we're so excited now to bring it to all of you here today and all over the world as well, including the millions who are joining us online. Welcome to you. We are so thrilled. And I'll tell you that as we've traveled the world, and as we've spoken to all of you, there is one word that continues to come up over and over again, and it is the word that we are all anchored to today and at this conference, and it is together, together. Because we are doing these things together. We are creating this company together. We are creating this industry together. We are creating this success together. And I want to thank you. I want to thank each and every one of you for all that you do for us every single day. The artist JR was here one year ago. He took photographs of over a thousand San Franciscans. And those San Franciscans represent all aspects of our city, 
all aspects of our city, business, community, religious, spiritual, and our homeless as well. And the power of this mural is that it represents everybody, all of us. He took all of us into his heart, and then he presented this back. This mural is now available for all of you to see during this event for free across the street at the MoMA. I hope you do it because as this city's largest employer, when I go over there to see that mural, what I see is that these are all of my stakeholders. You see, ladies and gentlemen, Salesforce has had a phenomenal shareholder return. If you bought our stock when we went public in 2004, you would have had a 3,500% return. But we've also had a tremendous stakeholder return, which is what Keith was talking about. We've been able to give back $400 million in grants. We run 40,000 nonprofits and NGOs on our product for free. We are a net zero company because the planet is also a stakeholder. As we move forward, we have to do both. We have to bring all of our shareholders and our stakeholders together. And that's also why I've given you all this book, Trailblazer, it's in your bags, to go through that. Our mission, our vision, our ideas, please use it. Thank you so much. It is a trust revolution. We can see it here at this conference. We can see it in our life. We can see it in our news. We can see everything that we're doing. It is a trust revolution. It's a trust revolution. We can see it in our media. You know, I was just looking right here at Newsweek. It's actually my second favorite news magazine. And the second favorite news magazine on the cover. Can you trust your toaster? Can you trust your toaster? That is what they're asking. Why are they asking that? Why are they asking that? Because everything is changing in our industry. Everything is changing in our world because it's an intelligence revolution. It's an intelligence revolution. It's an intelligence revolution, and let me ask you this. How many of you have these types of devices in your homes today? How many have a Google device or an Amazon device or an Apple device? Raise your hands. Isn't it amazing what is happening? It's incredible how artificial intelligence is becoming such a pervasive part of our world. And when we look at that, when we look at the changes in trust, when we look at the changes going on in intelligence, well, that is why it is a customer revolution. That is why it is a customer revolution, and that is why we're here. That is why we're here as trailblazers. That is why we're here as trailblazers, because we are here to make the world better, to improve the state of the world, to represent these values of trust, customer success, innovation, and equality, the equality of every human being. And you're gonna see that at this conference. We're gonna talk about it, we're gonna experience it. But as we can see, as we deeply know, revolutions are not easy. Revolutions are not easy, and there are gaps. And those gaps are also between us and our customers. Isn't that powerful? And that is also why we're doing it together. That is why we are being trailblazers together. And we're able to heal these gaps and bring these things together. And that is also why we're building our Customer 360 platform. And why we deliver all of these apps to do that in sales, in service, in marketing, in commerce, in analytics, in all of these areas. This is the Customer 360 platform that you have helped us build. We have done this together. We are building this together. This is what we are doing. And I am so proud of our team and all of you for what we have been able to contribute and how we've been able to build this and how we've been able to create this. So you're now gonna see at this program that you're gonna be put, 
We've heard from your group, and we will happy to have a further conversation with you. We gave you your time. We will continue to give you other opportunities to speak. Thank you very much. Twenty-five percent average increase in revenue, thirty percent higher customer satisfaction, thirty percent higher marketing ROI, twenty-six percent decrease in IT costs, fifty-seven percent faster application development, seventy percent increased productivity. This is what we're able to bring with our customer success platform, and together we are doing this. But we're not doing it alone. We cannot do it alone. We recognize, as a community, that we're going to bring all of our partners in. How many of you have more than Salesforce in your company? Raise your hands. How many of you have more technology than Salesforce? Only a few. Raise your hand if you have more than Salesforce. Actually, it's a very good sign. <laughs> very good sign. Well, we have partnered. With all the other major companies, and we are working to build a set of relationships that we can do this. We realize you do have more than Salesforce, and we commit to you that we will work with everybody. We will not create boundaries between us; that we will operate as one community. This keynote is really broken into two chapters. First, it's broken into the customer 360 chapter. And in this chapter, we are going to talk about five apps: sales, service, marketing, our platform, and commerce. Now, I would love to be able to do everything. I would love to be able to do it all, but I can't. I can only do what I can do. We can all only do what we can do. But we will then break and do a second chapter on data for MuleSoft. We will talk about this incredible new company, Tableau, and we will also talk about Salesforce Einstein. It's going to be an amazing keynote, and so I want to start that now. And I want to start the keynote by talking about Salesforce Customer 360. I want to talk about this platform that so many of you are using to improve your customer relationships, to connect with your customers in a new way. And it's trusted platform. It's smart. It's flexible. It's sustainable, and it's a platform used by so many of our customers. And every year, we get to pick one customer, one customer that we profile, who's using the 360 platform. And this year, we have profiled State Farm, and State Farm has done an amazing job with the customer 360 platform. And now, to look at what they've done in all of these apps, let's take a look at this quick video. We're at a moment, an inflection point in our history here at State Farm. What do we want to be? What do we stand for? And we define that together, which is we want to be about the customer and the customer experience, and being absolutely dominant in that. In this digital age and this fight for customers, you've got to be customer centric, and you have to be up in your game all the time to be the best that you can be. Being the leader in the industry. It doesn't mean you stop playing. You've got to push even harder, right? Because you're the one to get. State Farm was born out of innovation. They wanted to see if we could digitally transform the company, and they said we have to make this work. We are not going to allow this to to fail. When I hired Fawad, he says, "Do I have to wear a tie when I come up here on the CEO on the 12th floor?" And I said, "Look, Fawad, we're looking for you to rub off on us more so than us rubbing off on you." And if you wear a suit, I'm going to fire you. <laughs> When I first started working for Fawad, he talked about the fact that as you move into this new model of being outcome focused and truly data driven, that you will never be able to go back to operating any other way. You will become addicted to it. With AI, we're leveraging data that we already have to actually assist those people within State Farm operations. Now, all of a sudden, we can get more people from frontline to back office actually working on the right customer problems. I almost think of it as augmented intelligence as opposed to artificial intelligence. Let's give those insights to our employees and our agents so they can better serve and focus on our customer needs. We have a place where all of that information comes together, and we're clear that this is the court we want to play on. 
As a company with Salesforce, we're dominating on our experiences. We're ranking number one in how we're dealing with digital. We're starting to see the wins. We're on a trajectory that can allow this company to continue on for another 100 years, and that's, that's really satisfying for me. Watching people unlock their own potential is the very best part. That's when it becomes really cool. I think that's the moment when you realize everyone is a trailblazer if they want to be. Stay Farm on three. One, two, three. Stay Farm! Woo! All right. Back to work. All right. I got Fawad right here. Fawad, thank you for coming all the way to Dreamforce. We appreciate you being here. Tell us, what are you doing with the Customer 360 platform? Well, that's, that's a great question, and I love the focus that you're bringing for all of us and everyone attending and watching online. And I'm proud to say that I work for an organization that's always focused on the customer. And our CEO, Michael Kipsord, always reminds us about our mission, which is we will always be guided by their needs and their dreams and aspirations. So for us to accomplish that mission, we actually need to transform the way we work with Customer 360, and that becomes a single, reliable place that we can go, irrespective of which part of the company, and it's a large company, Mark, over 97 years of success, no matter where you work, whether you're in the operations or in the agency, to be able to look at and then leverage the intelligence that comes from that platform. And I'll share two simple examples for context for everyone as they can think about that for themselves. And number one is, we have agents who actually really know customers on a personal level. Some of these agents can become your very dear friends as well, but they may not know everything that's going on in your life. So as you think about, you've had a claim and now you've gone into our award-winning mobile app and you've actually filed the claim very effortlessly, now as an agent I will actually be prompted by Customer360 to say, this is a great time to actually reach out and talk to the customer about the fact that this happened, or hey, you haven't taken the next steps to actually proceed with your claim, can I assist you? But the really cool part is when you flip that around and you look at employees, you might never meet a State Farm employee, or if you call our operation, you might never get the same person twice, but this actually allows them to tell you what they've seen in the 360, repeat that back to you, and so you sort of feel known, and I think that's all we're trying to accomplish here, which is make them feel known and adapt to them in the moment. Well, Fawa, we couldn't be more excited to have you at Dreamforce. Welcome. Thank you. And Appreciate please it. tell us, what's the one thing you would like everyone here to know about Dreamforce that you're most excited about? Well, I think it's the second part of what you just shared, which is around the data. And people actually think AI is kind of scary. But to us, it's about taking those insights and actually supporting your people to give a better experience. So I would urge people to think about your data in the context of how you support the human to provide that better customer experience. All right, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Bawad. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, we could not have expected 21 years ago when we started Salesforce that our namesake sales cloud would continue to do as well as it does. And here we are, over two decades later, the number one trusted sales solution. Incredible. But I'll tell you what has surprised me the most is how it continues to change, how it continues to evolve. And, in the, in, and this concept of this intelligence revolution, well, that has truly surprised me. Now you're going to see something amazing inside the sales cloud with this incredible capability of call coaching. Please welcome Sarah Patterson, our SVP of product marketing. Sarah? Thank you, Mark. Welcome. Thank you. If you are a sales manager, a key part of your job is coaching your reps. But why is this so important? Companies with dynamic sales coaching programs see 28% higher win rates. Unbelievable results. And Einstein Call Coaching is your coach. This is an AI feature that can process audio clips to serve up those key moments for this type of coaching. So let's dive into a demo and take a look at a vision for how State Farm wants to use this incredible feature. And as we do this, I want to call out that all of the demos that you are going to see here today are live. So give a warm Dreamforce welcome to our first demo driver, Julia. Thank you, Julia. 
All right, we can see right here on the screen that Einstein Call Coaching is serving up actionable insights for all the sales managers at State Farm, letting them know things like what objections their agents are handling. It can also let them know what products they're positioning. Now just stop and think about the power of this for your business for a minute. You launch a new product, but you have no idea whether your reps are actually comfortable selling it. Well, now you're getting the insight you need to know if they are. And if they're not, you can lean in to guide them, to coach them, to help them. More than this, you can even customize this to look for things that matter to your business. For State Farm, that's life events that customers are having. Now, let's say that we want to help one of these agents increase their cross-sell game. A lot of companies are using third parties to record calls with customers for quality assurance reasons, only when the customers opt in. Einstein Call Coaching can take that audio, process it, and help serve up the right moments for coaching. So let's take a listen to a couple of these. Yeah, could you send me a quote for the SUV? I'm moving to a place in the suburbs and just need to get something bigger. Okay, all set. Congrats on the move, by the way. Do you want me to show you some pricing options if we combined auto with homeowner's insurance? You know, I think my partner has it already, but I'm not exactly sure who the provider is. Okay, gotcha. There are some discounts if you combine homeowners with auto and take advantage of our Drive Safe and Save program. I can send you more info if you'd like. Just like athletes can sit down with their coaches and look at video clips, now sales reps can sit down and listen to audio clips. And that one was amazing. We heard the rep position the product, handle an objection, and add value for the customer. Exactly what we want them to be doing. So how do we scale this? Well, we simply add it to our library, and now that manager or rep can share this with anyone when they want to help them up their game. Absolutely incredible feature. If you want to learn more about this, if you want to get the new skill and up your game, take a trail or go to the Sales Cloud keynote tomorrow at 11. Thank you, and back to you, Mark. All right, great job. Please thank Sarah. Great job, Sarah. We're so excited to see what you've done at the Sales Cloud this year. And we're also talking about service, the world's number one most trusted service solution, delivering 71 case interactions today, and now this incredible AI-powered case generation. We're going to see something incredible. Please welcome Stephanie Buscemi, our Chief Marketing Officer. Thank welcome, you, Mark. Stephanie. All right, ladies and gentlemen. When delivering amazing customer service, Let's face it, speed matters. It matters a heck of a lot. And State Farm is transforming the future of service fast. I'm gonna show you with this visionary example. Let's take a look at Service Cloud Voice. Right here, the State Farm agents have every single thing they need to manage a high volume of cases every day. On the left-hand side, they have all of the customer information. It even includes the policy data, which resides in a different system. Now, in a moment, you're going to listen in on a call, and it's going to be transcribed right here down the center. But pay attention to the right-hand side, because Einstein is with us every step of the way and learning and getting smarter as we go. Let's listen in. Hi, this is Lena at State Farm. How can I help you today? Hey, Lena. Had a pretty rough weekend, actually. A hurricane came through and blew a tree right through my fence. Am I covered? Okay, let me take a look. I have your policy right here. You're covered for $500 for tree removal. Was that the only damage? What just happened there? That is cloud telephony. It's powered by our partner, Amazon Connect. It's transcribing the call in real time for the associate. As the customer describes the issue, Einstein is also following along using natural language processing to understand the context of the conversation and surface the most relevant knowledge article for the associate. That's powerful in customer service. Think about it. That associate did not have to put the customer on hold. That associate did not have to go into another system, and they did not have to go looking through a dense consumer policy. The answer was surfaced 
right there. Because with Einstein, the State Farm Associates close cases 31% times faster. Let's listen in a little bit more. Yes, luckily, but some of my neighbors got flooded. Okay, I hope everyone is safe. And looking at your policy, I see that you don't currently have personal article protection, which would cover your high value belongings. Would you like some more information? Yeah, actually some more information would be great. Thank you. All right, Einstein just made that so easy for the associate to suggest the right protection as the next best action. That associate did not need to be an expert on the scenario. The answer was surfaced right there. This is so important because all of you, 80% of consumers, say that actually speed is the most critical element in delivering an amazing customer experience. Now we wrap the call here, and Einstein's already predicted the fields, and because of the power of Amazon Connect, all of the detail is already transcribed. That associate can get back to delivering better, faster service, saving 10 minutes in administrative work per case. I leave you all with this. How are you going to use AI to transform your business? Don't miss the Service Cloud keynote to learn more. Thank you, Mark. Right, great job, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Well, we've talked about sales. We've talked about service. Marketing, building that one-on-one -on -one relationship with your customer, building journeys, the ability to know who your customer is and where they're going. Please welcome Ebony Beckwith, our Chief Philanthropy Officer and EVP of Marketing. Welcome, Ebony. Thank you so much, Mark. You know, I'm really excited to be giving this demo because I think it's something we all have experience with. I know many of us have received emails from companies asking us to provide some sort of feedback. I know I sure have. You want to be a helpful consumer, but there's a problem. In order to give them this feedback, they want you to click on a link and you're forced to fill out a form somewhere else. And you know what? Honestly, most people just quit right there. They just don't have time for that. But what if you never had to leave your email? Fortunately, interactive email is changing the game. And here we have a visionary example using State Farm. They're sending an email to a customer who recently purchased auto insurance from them. They want to get to know them better. And here we see simple, engaging visuals. The customer can select an option, tap a button. It is very straightforward. And the customer is in control of whether or not they want to opt in to receive additional information from their agent. And once they agree and submit, that information is sent directly into Salesforce and a lead is created for the agent. This is brilliant. And you know what? We've seen that companies using interactive email collect three times more data from their customers. This is great. And interactive email can be used for any industry, any business. We're gonna take a look at a service, a service use case. Let's say now, for example, by just adding a simple text field to your email, a customer can now type in a question or concern, and that can automatically trigger a case. Or if after purchasing a product, a customer can rate that product for you all within their email, no more being bounced around to a different site. They can tap on some stars and submit a product rating. And just to reiterate, they never left their email. I think this is fantastic. I hope you love it. If you want to learn more, check out our marketing keynote. Thank you, and back to you, Mark. Great job, Ebony. Well, here we are, sales, service, marketing. Now let's talk about commerce. We've been talking about State Farm. We're gonna change the channel. For quite a few years, we've talked about LVMH Group and the kind of work they've been doing with the customer success platform. Today we're going to talk about one of their customers, or one of their companies, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, how many of you have heard of Louis Vuitton? Raise your hands. All right. Well, Louis Vuitton also uses the customer success platform. They have built this incredible customer 360 in sales, service, marketing, commerce, platform, applications, analytics, and using extensively this incredible integrated platform. By integrating commerce into the customer 360, by extending the customer success cloud with commerce, now we can see our customers doing 4.2 million 
orders per day. And to show us the future of commerce, please welcome our president of products, Brett Taylor. Welcome, Brett. Thank you, Mark. I'm so excited to show you how Louis Vuitton puts the customer at the center of every digital commerce experience. And it all starts in Commerce Cloud Page Designer. This is an amazingly simple and flexible point-and-click tool that empowers everybody at Louis Vuitton, from the most technical developer to even the merchandiser to shape that Louis Vuitton storefront. With the drag of a mouse, you can drag on things like Einstein product recommendations. So every individual to LouisVuitton.com will see the products most suited to them. But why do we have to limit personalization to just the products being recommended? We all know as shoppers that the way those products are displayed, the design, has almost as much of an impact on converting a browser to a shopper. To do personalized design for every individual previously would take a developer, a data scientist, and months of work. We're now with Einstein Designer, with a click of a button, we can show personalized designs to every Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton shopper. Let me show you how it works with a visualization. So first, Einstein's going to take this product listing and break it into components. That product image, the title, the price. Then it's going to scour the internet and say, how do other stores display products like this? It's going to cluster them into similar designs. What's most prominent, the image, the price, the product reviews? And then it's going to filter all those down. Maybe some of those designs don't meet Louis Vuitton brand guidelines. Maybe some of those designs are inaccessible. And then it will filter those down and stack rank them to find the handful of the best variations of that product design for Louis Vuitton shoppers. Let's go back to Page Designer and see how we can put this on the site. With a click of a button, I've gotten all these designs designed by Einstein that recommend the best variations of this product listing. Let's see how this impacts Louis Vuitton shoppers. So let's say I'm Ebony. I'm totally loyal to the Louis Vuitton brand, so I'm always looking for that next great collection. This design is amplifying that collection right at the top of the product listing. And then, of course, there's Parker. Parker's not too familiar with Louis Vuitton, and he's really interested in those product details, so he can really learn about the Louis Vuitton brand experience. And then there's Mark. Mark recently bought some amazing Louis Vuitton shoes, and he's trying to find a bag that would go perfectly with them. So this is emphasizing the colors and the materials. Now, here's the thing. Obviously, all those shoppers are going to have a better experience, and in our pilot, they've seen uniformly higher conversion rates. But more importantly, they are deploying these new designs six times faster than before. This is the power of Einstein, and this is the power of personalization at scale. If you want to learn more, go to the Commerce Cloud keynote or visit us on Trailhead. Back to you, Mark. All right. Great job, Brett. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. And we're also seeing our customers build more apps than ever before. The idea that they have to build interactive apps, the ability for customers to, inter to interact with the, their customers and do it, whether it's on watches or phones or whatever their device is. It's incredible how the platform itself has changed, evolved, transformed. It's become the world's number one trusted app platform with 10 billion Einstein predictions today and 57% Faster app development, please welcome Sarah Franklin, the head of platform. Sarah, welcome. Thank you, Mark. We saw how Louis Vuitton created a customer 360 in the digital world, but how do they transform that in-store experience? Let me show you. Louis Vuitton uses our builders to create an app for every employee to have in their hands, that icon app you saw in the film. They use our builders with base components that we've now open sourced, or package components available on our app exchange, or they can create custom components like here with open web standards. So let's do this. Let's drag a look builder, a personalized products component, right onto this application. And with just a few clicks together, we have built an app without having to code. That is incredible. OK, now that we've built this, how do we make it available? With a mobile publisher, we can put these apps easily on the App Store or Google Play. 
For today, we've pre-configured this listing. You see the beautiful branding, down to levels of detail of which country this app can be available in. Okay, with one click, we've submitted it to the App Store and Salesforce is fast at work doing everything we needed to get it published. And we'll fast forward to that listing being approved and here it is live on the App Store. Okay, this is Dreamforce, so I wanna have some fun. All right, in three, two, one, boom. I have transported all of you magically into the Louis Vuitton store. You're looking at the merchandising. We're standing on the beautiful marble floor together, and we're about to walk into that store where one of their advisors is going to greet us with that very same mobile app that we just built. Are you ready? Hey, Sarah, welcome in. And hey, Dreamforce, I can't wait to show you what I have for you today. Okay, so Callie has greeted me in the store, but she and I have never met before. But because she has that app in the Customer 360, she knows all of my information, previous cases, even conversations we've been having over WhatsApp. Turns out I have a big event I need a good look for, and she's gonna have Einstein in her hand to help her. We can take a walk through my closet, my wardrobe right here in her hands, and Einstein helps her recommend a great look. Those boots we bought last year, they were an investment piece, and they pair perfectly with this year's fall fashion line. And what's better? Check this. Custom apparel just for me, a Louis Vuitton signature bag with my initials down to the leather detailing, even the color of stripes that I just love. But wait, Sarah. Because it's Dreamforce, I have an exclusive piece just for you today. Do you want to see it? I mean, Mark's buying, so yes, I want to see this one. So wipe. This is our new fiber optic monogram bag, and I have it in store for you today. Would you like to try it on? What do you think, Dreamforce? Do we want to see the custom fiber optic bag, the signature key bow that Louis Vuitton has put fiber optic thread into it right here on stage? There's literally only one of these available in the world. So do you want to see it? That is incredible, yes. Louis Vuitton has brought the future of fashion right here into their signature key Paul bag to help me just rock it right here on the Dreamforce stage. And so that is how Louis Vuitton is creating the future of fashion, the future of technology, and reinventing retail. If you want to learn more, visit us at the Platform Keynote. Thank you. Back to you, Mark. Great job, Sarah. Gorgeous bag. Well, we've been in chapter one of our keynote. Now we're entering chapter two. We're gonna move from customer 360, and as I said, I could never go through all of those apps into our second chapter, data. Because we love, at Salesforce, we love to see and understand data. Data is an important part of everything that we are doing and everything that you are doing as our customers. And as we move into this data revolution, I think we can squarely say that this fourth wave of computing is now on us. And the fourth wave of computing really has followed the other three waves. We've moved from systems of record, where many of us started in the industry, to systems of engagement. We moved from systems of engagement to systems of intelligence. And we started talking about that now several years ago. Well, now we're moving from systems of intelligence towards something in computer science that we've been talking about for years, the single source of truth. The idea that for each one of our companies, we're focused on understanding the knowledge of what is the single source of truth. What is the truth? And as we pursue the truth, it requires us as Salesforce to transform, to transform and to evolve and to move forward. And that is why we have also enhanced the Customer 360. Now we're gonna show you a new version of the Customer 360 one that has the single source of truth built deeply inside of it, and the SSOT as a part of the architecture of Salesforce. We believe that this is critical for all of us to be able to move forward with our customers. So when they're talking to our salespeople or our service people or our marketing professionals or operating with us in commerce, we actually know who they are and we have one record on them. 
the single source of truth. To, to show us this huge revelation in our architecture, please welcome Brett Taylor. Brett? Thank you again, Mark. So I, I have the privilege of talking to a lot of you in the room, talking to a lot of customers. And every time I show one of you the customer 360, I hear two things. One, that is awesome, and I want it yesterday. And number two is, it's a heck of a lot harder than you make it seem in these fancy Dreamforce demos. <laughs> well, today, with the Customer 360 Truth Profile, we're going to make it easy for all of you to build your own Customer 360 and to build your own single source of truth. Let me show you a world without a single source of truth. This is an email sent by our marketing cloud, sent by Louis Vuitton, recommending a new product to me. Einstein had a hand in this email. This is personalized with all the data in Marketing Cloud. Einstein thinks these sneakers would look great on me. What do you all think? I think Einstein was right, and in fact, I'm wearing these shoes right now. I ordered these on Louis Vuitton last week in preparation for this show. But because there's not a single source of truth between marketing and my commerce order history, I'm getting this fragmented customer experience. We are going to fix this experience right now on stage with the Customer 360 Truth Profile. Let's bring it up. This is a simple point-and-click interface that enables us to connect all of our customer experiences. We're going to start with customer service. That's the anchor point of that amazing experience that Sarah just showed you. And of course, we also need to connect our marketing so that every email can be personalized based on the single source of truth. And finally, we need to connect commerce because that's how we're going to get that order history to inform those marketing emails about all those purchases I previously made. Now, Louis Vuitton is an international brand with tons of Salesforce instances all around the world. And we can connect all of these, but it would take forever. So like a good cooking show, we're going to bam right to the end. This is the Louis Vuitton Customer 360. Now, as Mark said, not all your data lives in Salesforce, and that's OK. Thanks to the power of MuleSoft, we can connect every data system and device at Louis Vuitton with this Customer 360 Truth Profile. If we click on MuleSoft, I see my developers have already connected the inventory management system we have in SAP. So with a click of a Connect button, all that inventory data is in our single source of truth as well. And if you look up at the top right, you'll see we've distilled those 180,000 records of customer data into 88,000 human beings, loyal Louis Vuitton customers. We've now created a single source of truth for Louis Vuitton. And let's see what that email experience looks like now. So instead of showing me those shoes I already bought, it's recommending this totally sick belt that I think would look great with those shoes. I have my order history right underneath. And I can chat with an advisor. So if I want to add that belt to my order, I can tap on that button. And you're going to see an amazing customer service interaction here, but I want you to notice one thing the agent's not asking for. They're not asking for my order number because they already know. Their agent desktop is connected to that single source of truth. This is the power of the Customer 360. And if you want to learn how to build your own, visit the keynote or visit Trailhead. Back to you, Mark. Well, great job, Brad, and congratulations to our engineering team and our products team for building this amazing SSOT. We're going to show this to you at the show for the very first time. You're going to get it, your hands on it shortly. It's really an amazing extension to our product strategy and to our core platform, and we are also not charging for this. This is a deep integration into our platform. So thank you, Brett, for doing such an amazing job with the SSOT. We are really excited. As we look at, you can give him a hand for that. That's all right. As we look at the truth profile and as we look deeper into the platform, we see that it becomes critical that we're able to integrate all of these capabilities together. That is why we acquired that amazing company, MuleSoft, a couple of years ago. Because now we've been able to weave it into the fabric of the customer success platform and the Salesforce Customer 360. We've been able to unlock all of these incredible capabilities and it's able to do 2 billion integration transactions a day for our customers. Let's go take a deeper look into what does it mean to have this Customer 360 integration? What does it mean that we're able to connect and work with all the data in your enterprise to make this one cohesive system and as we pursue this? Now, there's one last point. I've mentioned the importance of us working with others many times, other partners, other strategic partners. Well, we're also introducing the sh at the show 
not just the customer 360 integration platform, but also the cloud information model, where we're inviting you as our customers and our partners to join us in an open model. Now, there have been other models recently introduced in the industry, but they're closed models, usually put together by one or two vendors. This is an open model put together with the Linux Foundation that we can all work with and that we all want to join as one community. And to show us this, please welcome Lindsay Irvine, our Chief Marketing Officer at MuleSoft. Lindsay? Thank you, Mark. All too often, integration is the number one reason that new initiatives fail. And that's because, let's face it, integrating systems and unlocking data is hard. So how can we help you integrate your systems and unlock your data wherever that data resides to create truly integrated, connected experiences? And the answer is MuleSoft. Dylan, let's take a look. Here we are in MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform, where we help you manage the full end-to-end -end integration lifecycle. We have Design Center, where you can build integrations to any of your systems, on-premise or in the cloud. We have Management Center, where you can understand how those integrations are performing. And my personal favorite, Exchange. Think of Exchange as the App Store or the App Exchange, but for APIs and integrations. You can come here and find literally hundreds of pre-built integrations to common systems, like SAP, IBM, Amazon S3. You can access that new cloud information model Mark mentioned, and you can find accelerators for industries and now for Salesforce applications. Let's take a look. Now think of an accelerator as a way to reduce the cost and the time it takes to integrate data directly into Salesforce. So how's a customer like Louis Vuitton taking advantage of this? Well, they're using it for their service agents because all too often, service agents are swivel chairing between screens, trying to access data from different systems to solve the customer need. Well, not anymore. With MuleSoft Accelerators, we've pre-built integrations to those common systems and automatically surface that data directly in the Service Cloud console, giving those agents a single source of truth to manage the customer. And here's the key. We help IT deliver that three times faster. Now you've seen the power of a global exchange, but you may be thinking that's awesome. But what if I want my own private exchange? Well, we've got you covered, and that is just what Louis Vuitton has done. So here we are in the Louis Vuitton exchange. Now Louis Vuitton has their own SAPs, their own APIs, their own integrations, like their SAP API you saw earlier. And how about that product catalog API? Well, why does that matter? Imagine I'm a Salesforce admin at Louis Vuitton. I own the sales and service cloud implementations. And to make them awesome, to make them integrated, I need data from a lot of different systems. And in the past, that was hard. I had to go find the system engineers or build custom code. Now all I have to do is go to Exchange. This is the exact API I need. I reuse it, not rebuild it. I drag it into MuleSoft's new Clicks Not Code integration builder, connect it to that existing sales SAP API, connect that all directly into Salesforce, hit deploy, and like that. I have an integrated, connected service experience. Let's take a look. Here we are in that agent console with a single source of truth. You have customer data. You have order data from SAP. And now thanks to that product catalog API, you have inventory data. That's the power of API-led, and that is the power of MuleSoft. Integrate your systems, unlock your data, and build connected experiences faster. Imagine what you can do if you unlock your data in this way. And to learn more, visit our integration keynote. Mark, back to you. Well, great job, Lindsay. Great job. We love having MuleSoft part of the Salesforce family, and it has deeply impacted us, and it's helping us get to that SOTC, SSOT, try to say that three times fast. We're getting to that SOT, SSOT faster. SSOT, we're all, how about we all practice it? SSOT. Well, as we've integrated MuleSoft, we've realized we need to enhance our analytics. We need to bring analytics even farther. And of course, we've done a phenomenal job with Einstein analytics and artificial intelligence-based analytics. And we've also extended that with Datarama with marketing analytics. That's been an incredible extension. But the most exciting thing happened this year when we acquired the company Tableau. How many of you are Tableau users? Okay, give Tableau a round of applause, great. How many of you are Tableau customers or users? Raise your hand if you uh, have Tableau in your company. You know, Tableau is an amazing product. Incredible business intelligence, incredible analytics, 
It's incredible visualization, and we're so fortunate to have right here Adam Solipsky, the CEO of Tableau. Welcome, Adam. Good morning, Mark. We're welcome, and we're thrilled to have you here. Welcome to the Ohana. Thank you so much. We are so delighted to be with you all. Adam, tell me, what are you most excited about with Salesforce and Tableau coming together? Well, it's such a natural combination. Uh, you put so much stress on customer success. We talk about relentless customer focus. I think it's just one example of something you and I saw early on, which is the cultural similarities between the companies, the shared values, and that's, an exci that's exciting for our employees, and I think it's going to create incredible potential for our customers. Well, we couldn't be more excited. It was as if we uh, found our missing relative in a northwest forest, and uh, <laughs> that's you. So, Adam, why don't you show us Tableau? Uh, Thank you. All right, let's take Please a look. Please give my hand. Thanks again, Mark. Our entire team is so excited to be here at Dreamforce, joining all of you as some of the newest trailblazers. So this morning, we've heard all about the customer 360, but at the heart of that is data. In order to satisfy your customers, in order to make better decisions as a company, drive your business, you need to understand all of your data. Like Cigna, who saved $145 million in patient medical costs. Charles Schwab, 85% of Schwab employees use Tableau. And Nissan, who deploys Tableau worldwide from the shop floor to their global dealer network. In fact, we have tens of thousands of customers who are already powered by data. And like them, like them, you are dealing with a lot of data, more and more data. And you have so many people who need to make decisions with that data. All Salesforce customers do. They all do. And that's why Tableau is focused on a simple, singular mission. We help people see and understand data. That's it. It's seven words. We do it with our own community, which is now part of this community. The Tableau community is more than one million people strong, and it is engaged, and it is passionate, and it is inspiring to all of us. We love data, and our customers love data, and Tableau has created analytics that people love. Whether you're a data newbie or a data rock star, Tableau makes analytics simple, powerful, easy to use. And we deliver all that on a platform that's integrated, that's trusted, and that has end-to-end -end capabilities, from data prep to rich analytics to collaboration and sharing. It's all there, end-to-end -end capabilities. Any data, anywhere you want to use it. We're really the Switzerland of data. All while providing rock solid governance and security, which are so critical to all of you, we know. So, along with Einstein Analytics for embedded CRM and Datarama for marketing intelligence, you now have Tableau to help scale analytics throughout your enterprise, across any department, any use case, any data. But the best way to understand Tableau is to see it in action. Here to give us a quick tour, just a, a nibble, is our Chief Product Officer, Francois Asienstadt. Thank you, Adam, and good morning, Dreamforce. Good morning. Oh, yeah. You know, today, in most, most organizations, when you want to ask a question of data, it requires experts with specialized skills who have to build custom reports for you. It's complicated and it's slow. While we believe that data is for everyone, and Tableau helps unlock the full power of your data so you can make better decisions faster. So this is the first time that we show Tableau at Dreamforce. We're really excited. And special shout out to Amy, who will be doing the demo live today. All right. So here we're looking at a dashboard for an insurance company, and we can see the complete overview of our business. 
We can see our claims metrics at the top. We can see claims information by product line and geography on the bottom. And we can see it over time at the top. Now, everything in Tableau is interactive, which provides unlimited exploration of your data. So let's say we start looking over that line at the top. We get details on demand. Anytime you hover over data, we can see every single product category for that particular day. And if we want to drill into that data, one click, and we can drill in and just focus on the claims by year. Now, we want to break it down by division. Check this out. One click, boom. We've broken it out. We can now see the claims for every single category, auto and life, are at the top. That's how easy Tableau makes it to make everything interactive for easy exploration. Let's go back to our dashboard. Now, with Tableau, you can focus your attention anywhere you want. So if you want to just focus on the auto category, one click and everything's filtered on auto. Or if I want to look at cars, click, it focuses. Motorcycle, everything is filtered, personalized for your questions. And you can always go from the summarized view down to the details really easily. Here, we can see every single claim, every single transaction, so you can really make the best decision. And I can go in and select the data that I want, just select the particular periods, and everything is filtered relevant to you. Now, what happens if you have a question that can't be answered with this dashboard? Do you ask somebody else to create a new dashboard for you? Or do you have to make changes to this one? Of course not. That's not the Tableau way. Check this out. One click, we now have a view into all of our business. We can ask a question of our business just like you can with Google. So let's say I want to ask how many claims in San Francisco? Tableau will recognize through artificial intelligence what my intent is, figure it out, and with quick enter, we get a response. Now, what if I want to see it over time? Just type in over time. And now Tableau will automatically visualize it in the right way as a line graph. Want to break it down by division or by product category? Type that in, you get an answer. Ask a question, get visual answers. This is analysis at the speed of thought. Tableau helps unlock all of your data. So whether you have Salesforce data, or SAP data, whether your data is in SQL Server or Snowflake, on-premises or in the cloud, Tableau helps everyone see and understand their data so you can make better decisions faster. So to learn more about the full power of the Tableau Analytics platform, please join us for the Analytics keynote tomorrow. And you can always download a free trial from our website and start exploring your data today. Thank you very much. Back to you, Great Mark. Great job, Francois. Welcome to Salesforce. Welcome to Salesforce family. We're delighted to work with you. Well, we could be spending the next hour going through all of this, but we are not going to. <laughs> there are four days still to go of Dreamforce, and there are a lot of keynotes, one keynote for every single part of the product platform, so you can deep dive into every single part of Customer 360 and of the Customer Success Platform, you know, this is gonna be an opportunity for you to map out all parts of your business against the Customer 360, and also you can pick the app where you wanna start with Salesforce. Now I'd like to introduce you to my co-founder and our Chief Technology Officer, Parker Harris. Parker, come on up here. All right, thank you, Mark. Give him a hand. Welcome, Parker. Thank you. It's great to be here with you, Mark, and with all of you here in the room and online. Well, Parker, we are thrilled to be with you, and thank you for 21 tremendous years of service to Salesforce and to our customers. Thank you. Thank you. Parker, one of the things that's really impressed me and surprised me uh, is some of your recent technology, especially what you've done with Einstein. I mean, it's amazing what you've done with Einstein. I mean, it's too bad you're not dressed up as Einstein, but that's for another discussion, Parker. Mark, Mark but, will never give up on that. You never will. But Parker, we, well, we remember a lot of good keynote. dream forces, Parker, as Lightning Man, as we remember you as Doc Brown. Yeah. We have a lot of good memories. Anyway, let's not worry about that. It could be next year you're in a costume. But Parker. Or it could be you. Parker. Now listen here, Parker. Look, 
Parker, Einstein has been incredible. And yes. I have to tell you, every Monday, you know, Keith and I are sitting at a management table. We yep. have all of our executives that you've seen today yep. around the table, and we're talking. And, you know, as part of our management process every Monday, well, we say, well, now, how are you going to do this month? How are you going to do this quarter? You know, it's part of business, checking in with people, finding out what level of success they're going to hit. And now we've kind of kept, you know, an empty chair at the end of the table. Yeah. You know what I mean? An empty chair. Who's at the empty chair? Well, it's not Elijah. It's actually Einstein. Okay. And what happens is, Parker, is this, which is that we have this idea yeah. that as we go around the table, everybody says, oh, Europe's going to do this. Yep. The United Our States is going to do that. Our sales team loves this, by the way. What's that? Our sales team loves this. They love it. They love it. They love well, it right up to the point where I say, okay, great. We love what you guys have said, yeah. but now let's ask Einstein, what does Einstein think? Yeah. And then Einstein says, well, you know, I'm not so sure about yeah. this person in Europe. And, and then we have an argument like, with Einstein. Well, we have been arguing with Einstein. Like, he's not right. He's right. And we're not sure. So that gave me a couple of ideas I'd like to chew on with you okay. here while we have everybody right. here and we're one Ohana family you here. You always want something, Mark. What do you want now? Okay, there's two things I want. Two okay, things. first thing. Two things. First thing. One thing I want is I want our customers' customers. Like we've seen State Farm, Fawad yep. is here. Fawad. We saw Louis Vuitton. Yep. We want our customer's customer to be able to call and talk to Einstein directly. I think that would be amazing. To talk it's to amazing Einstein. that I can talk to Einstein. You know, I'm on my phone, I'm asking questions. Yep. But how could our customers just call and talk to Einstein? Well, could Mark, you do something about that? We could, because we're always trying to stay ahead of you. You're going pretty fast. But we're actually trying to stay ahead of everyone here all of our customers, all of our partners. We have someone here today who's actually staying ahead of all of us, and that's our chief scientist, Richard Socher. Richard, Richard Socher, welcome, up. Richard. Okay, Richard. Richard is a head of Salesforce Research. Did you know that Richard yes. runs the number one computer science class at Stanford on AI? I did. Did you I know did. that Richard is a fundamental uh, researcher and inventor of, of deep learning, a key part of AI? He makes Part me of feel small. Part of it. What's that? He makes me feel small. All right, well. He's just amazing. All right, well, you heard what I want, which is, you know, can our customer's customer call and talk to Einstein like the way we're talking to Einstein? We've been doing research in voice recognition, speech recognition for several years, and it's been amazing to see the things and the products that are coming out now. I actually think you're right. Einstein will sit in a service center. The service and voice recognition in the service cloud will be, I think, having the biggest impact of any of the things that we're working oh. on. All nice. right. Well, can you give us a, can you show us a demonstration of this? I would love to. In fact, we have our phone here. Now, mm -hmm. imagine this is just the end of Dreamforce. I got a rental car, uh, but I want to stay in California. I want to explore this beautiful state. And it's off hours. Uh, Einstein will be there 24-7 for people. And so I'm going to extend my rental car, and I'll show you what this experience will look like in the future. So, calling venture rental cars. Hi, Richard. I am the digital assistant for Adventure Car Rentals. I'm here to help outside of business hours. What can I do for you? Uh, hi, I would like to extend my rental car through the weekend. Sure, I'd be happy to help you with that. For security, can you please confirm your email address? Uh, sure, my email is sfr at salesforce.com. Got it. One moment, please. Okay, you reserved a compact vehicle, but we don't have any for the additional days. Because you're a Platinum member, I can upgrade you to another vehicle through Monday, December 2nd. Would you like to hear your options? Uh, sure, but you have so many cars. Maybe you can restrict it to the cars that I've already rented with you. Let's see. We can upgrade you to a Ford Explorer or a Ford Mustang at no additional cost. Which vehicle would you like to reserve? Oh, we're going to go to beautiful Lake Tahoe, so I think the Ford Explorer is the better choice. Thank you for letting me know. Due to inclement weather, I have secured the four-wheel drive model. Your reservation for the Ford Explorer has been extended to December 2nd. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Wow. Richard, that was amazing. Let's hear it for Richard, huh? Wow. Great job, Richard. That's amazing computer science. Thank you. And that was a live demo, wasn't it? 
will yeah, show amazing. you. And I have one, I want one other thing I want to show you. You've been doing some amazing work on the oceans as well, right? That is correct. Now, yeah. we don't have time to show what you've been doing, building buoys and all kinds of amazing AI technology, but do you have your own keynote? We do have our own when, keynote. When is that? Because I know everybody would love to attend that. The Future of AI keynote, it's at 4.30 p.m. today. It'll uh, be great. Fantastic. Thanks, Richard. Wow, great for that being was here. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Please Thank give you Richard so a much. hand. Great job. Well, that's great. So is that what you wanted? Not really. No? But it's fine. It's he's, okay. he's very hard to it's please. It's not real. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's great. I love Richard. He's doing amazing. Richard's yeah, doing an amazing love, job I on Einstein. Isn't that amazing? It wasn't. Okay. Me. But look, what I. Here's the problem. I just want to say it again. I have this management table every Monday. Yeah. A lot of executives are like this. We're like polling, how are you doing? How are you doing? And yep. then we're using Einstein to kind of, kind of referential integrity to kind of figure out, is everybody together? Is everybody yeah. one here at the table? And then, you know, there's always like this thing. But what I'd really like to be able to do, if you could do it, yeah. is I really just want to be able to like, kind of like, you know, I love having Keith there, you know? Yeah, but he doesn't could, look like Einstein. But if I could have, if, you know, if I could have Einstein in the room, yeah. that would be amazing. How many of you want to have Einstein in the room? Would you like that? In your room, right. in your conference room. Well, actually, well, I would want it. Come over here, Oh, check this out. Oh, all right. We now have Einstein in the room. Now, maybe not at the table in a seat. He's a little small for that. It but is small. It is small. Well, we can make it bigger. We can make it bigger. All right. So what this is, how many of you have... So is uh, this a doll? This is not a doll. It's pretty cute, but it's, it's not it a doll. It is cute. It's very cute. How many of you have an Alexa device here in the audience? How many of you like have an Alexa or a Google Home or Apple yeah. Air HomePod? Raise your hand. All right. All right. We got a few people, early okay. adopters. All right. So what we've done is we've partnered with Amazon here. We have embedded the Einstein platform into Alexa, okay? And so the power of Einstein, you can see. So you reshaped Alexa to look like Einstein? Well, no, because you're such a demanding boss, we actually prototyped our own Alexa device. So with, this is with, like your own with smart crazy speaker, hair, but it's Einstein. Because I don't want to dress up. We created this guy instead. All right, all right. Okay. You're going to still have to dress up, but this is a good first start, <laughs> by the way. All right, you want to see what it can do? Well, I'd really like to see like what it can do, and right. like, is, can it handle this? I don't know what it can do, but I'm right. gonna find Let's out. Find Hang out. on. Hey, Einstein, what can you do? Mm. Not Today, by much. You can uh, ask me for many of the amazing oh. Einstein features, like give me my account insights, or Einstein predict my quarterly forecast. Ah. Note that my capabilities are always growing. All right, well, that's okay. very exciting. But you know what, this use case, this is gonna be a lot of work. A lot of work. This is gonna require me to have a lot of special skills, like no. I program with my Alexa at home. It's you gonna know. be easy. Are you sure? We but make, you, at you, Salesforce, we take the hard things, we always make them easy, you know that. Are you that's sure? I'm, are, I'm positive. You wanna see? I'd really like to see right. somebody show us exactly someone how this works. Someone better than me doing that demo, because we've got to have a better demo than that. Well, right? I know we have a lot well, of these at the show, which everybody's going to want to get their hands on, but do you have somebody we who do. can do we an amazing demo? We have one of our demo? brightest engineers. All right, who's that? Ching Ching Lu. Ching Ching, where is here? She? Where is hey, Ching Parker. Ching? Ching Ching. Parker, I'm oh, right there here. Oh, there she is. in the back. Ching. Okay, Ching Ching. Please give her a yes. round of applause. Woo. Ching All Ching. All right, Ching Ching. Parker. Whoa. All right, Ching Ching, how you doing over there? Doing great. Do you, yeah. There's an Einstein coming out of your table, Ching Ching. There's yes. an Einstein there too. Yeah, we have Einstein at our table. They're everywhere. All right, take it away, Ching Ching. All right, show Thank us you, what Parker. you can do. So Einstein voice is transforming how teams work together. It is not for just for sales, not just for Mark or Parker. It is for everyone. So what does it take to create a custom Einstein voice skill? We'll do that. We'll build one together, live on stage, the engineer way, and show you how simple it is. Here we are with the Einstein voice setup. Here you can see we have voice assistant created for sales, service, finance, marketing, and more. So let's go ahead and modify the sales leadership voice assistant. And we'll do that with the brand new Einstein voice skills builder. Here you can see it's completely decorative. On the left, we have those building blocks that you can drag and drop to build out how exactly you want Einstein to guide your team. He can create records, make updates, and read guidance out loud. 
So let me just go ahead, drag the rescue over, and we'll start filling it out. The first thing I will do is enter the skill name, which is literally what I want to say to Einstein to get his guidance. Next, I'm going to select what kind of guidance I want to have on across all Einstein technology, like analytics and prediction, and many other things. And next, I'm going to tell Einstein how I want the guidance to be read out to me. So I can say something like, And last, I just need to select a channel to have our voice skill deployed to and have Einstein guide us using Amazon Alexa, Apple Siri, Google Assistant, and the very cute Celsius Einstein speaker. So now, all I need to do is just save this, and our new voice skill is live and ready, and it is now Einstein time. So let's go ahead and try out the new skill we just built. Hey, Einstein. Am I going to hit my number? Hello, Ching Ching. The likelihood you will hit your attainment quota is 75%. I can recommend three actions to increase this to 90%. Would you like me to create them as follow-up tasks? Yes, let's do that. You see how Einstein not only offered me the insights of how my business is doing now, but also the next steps to grow my business. So let's try out a service example. Hey, Einstein, how many support cases there for Moonrise Telecom? There's one tier one support case open for the account Moonrise Telecom. It's been open for 18 days. Would you like me to escalate this case to Kristen? Yes, please. Let's go ahead and try out a marketing example. Hey, Einstein. What will be Emily's best performing campaign this year? Based on current projections, I predict that Emily Park's best performing campaign will be the 2019 Winter Prospect Nurture campaign with an estimated 64% conversion rate. Great. So you see how easy it is to create a custom Einstein voice skill for any smart speaker or phone or device, and how Einstein empowers your team by seeing things that we cannot see. So now, before I pass back to Mark, let me ask my dear friend here just one more question. Hey, Einstein, are we going to see you around later today? Yes, I'll be here all week. Enjoy the rest of Dreamforce. Oh, thank you, Einstein. Back to you, Mark. Wow, uh, let's wow, hear it for Great job, Parker. That was amazing. This is really amazing. So yeah. it can work on this device, it works on Alexa, it works on your phone. Yeah, it, it works everywhere now. So we Incredible. can, we can talk directly to Salesforce, our customers can talk directly to Salesforce, their customers. And Einstein talk. has a seat at the table. Einstein has a seat at the, you should be in marketing, by the I way. should be. Yeah, you I know try. this technology thing I maybe try. is, well, you know, <laughs> not, maybe we'll get you into the marketing thing, but the costume is where I'm going. You always go there. I yeah. know, well, you know what? Parker, great job. You are on Thank you, fire. Mark. You Thank are you. on fire. Great job. Please give everybody a huge hand to Parker. Thank you. Congratulations.